people really touching my heart that are uh, Muslims that are telling me Muslims and these Muslims are telling me that I that I'm saying things that are inspiring them to be better Muslims and I'm not even a Muslim what's happening well you know I don't know if I told you for the last two years I've been studying Arabic every day two hours a day for two years and I gotta tell you it's brilliant beautiful language and it's mathematical and it's wise and it's so incredible and if you're a Muslim and you don't know Arabic, please start studying. It is opening up my brain to all of these thoughts. And so I got this one book here, and it's a, it's a, a translation study for the Quran. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Rahman rahim. Malki yawmid din. Iya kana budu wa iya kana stain. Ihdina surat al mustaqim. Surat al ladin an'am talayhim. Ghayr magdub yalayhim wala dalin. Amin. So then I started on Surah Al-Baqarah. I, I said, I'm going to just teach myself all the way through the whole Quran. It's a big surah. But, so I said this. Alif, Lam, Mim, Dalik al-Kitabu, Ra, Raiba, Fi, Huda, Lil, Muttaqin, Aladina, Yuminuna, Bil, Raibi, Wa, Yukimuna, Sawata, Wa, Mimma, Razakana, Hum, Ya, Fikun, Aladina, Yuminuna, Bima, Unzila, Ileka, Wa, Ma, Unzila, Min, Fablika, Wa, Bil, Akhirti, Hum, Ya, Kino. So, anyway, I hate to stop there. I'm sorry if that's disrespectful, but. I was going to learn the whole way through, but then I started in this Egyptian Arabic and all these other Arabic programs. My mind is just bursting. American Muslims raised by uh, Arab-speaking parents, they speak English and only English, and they are missing an opportunity of a lifetime to expand their brains and to be interfaith intermediaries to reach out. There's so much power in this language. I think that anybody who's a Muslim, if you, if you know English and you're fluent, I think that you have a responsibility for peace to become fluent in Arabic. I can just feel the power in this language and how it's rooted to history. It just, it's amazing. And I wrote this little song about my friend, Kamal. Um, and it was about how different we were, but we were still the same. And, it go, and I wrote it, it goes, I'm not, Hua Muhtalif, Hua Latif, Hua Insan on Tayyib, Had Rajulo Arabi, Alhamdulillah, Inshallah, Li Sadiqan Jadid, Hua Muhtalif, Hua Latif. Muslims that I've met seem to inherently know the messages of, of peace and forgiveness and fairness and love are facets of their faith that are key, that a lot of people are missing. And it's that way with every faith, I'm sure. It's a gift to me to consider that something I could say could inspire anybody to dive deeper into their faith, their loving, peaceful faith. So uh, um, thank you.